Today's educational game that I play is a short chemistry quiz about the basic properties of the hydrogen chemical element. These are a series of quizzes about the elements that I will play in the following weeks. In general, we have eight properties of the hydrogen that defined him as a chemical element, which are in the left and right side of the quiz. Now I will open and choose one of three answers, which will also clear the card of the hydrogen, so we can see a, a designed card with the symbols of the properties of the element. Now the first property is the appearance. Now because hydrogen is a gas, it uh, cannot be shown in, uh, in appearance as gas. So we have to choose one of three and have to select the most appropriate. And now the first picture also have a hint. Those hints will not be available in the fall in the next quizzes. But because hydrogen is the most abundant, abundant element in the universe, it forms those interesting nebulas in the space. So I will choose that interesting nebulas. Uh, now it also suggests that it is a colorless gas. So the next property of the hydrogen is its fuzz at standard temperature and pressure. That is it. And we have three phases that we can choose off from. Those are liquid, gas and solid. In general, there are four phases with plasma, but uh, I think all elements and compounds need uh, a lot of a very high temperature to become plasma, so the plasma is not present. So at standard temperature and pressure, the hydrogen appears as a gas. The next property of the hydrogen is its group element, elemental group. Now, we know in the periodic table the elements are sorted in groups. And the only way that I can orientate in this is by their color. Now, we, if we have played other games or have read and watched pictures, we, we may know, we may know the colors. But, okay, uh, the first thing is for the actinid chemical elements, then that color is for the reactive nonmetals, reactive nonmetals, and the third that gray one is for the poor metals. Now the hydrogen is a nonmetal, and nonmetals can be separated in three undergroups. These are noble gases, react reactive nonmetals, and lately halogens. Now hydrogen is a reactive nonmetal. Okay, the, ne the next property is its symbol. As hydrogen, most of the elements have their first letter as their symbol, but that is not always the case, so we must be careful. Now, the symbol of the hydrogen is H, and it clears the card more. Now we have more things. And going to the right side, of the properties, that is the atomic number. Now the hydrogen is the first element of the periodic table and it has atomic number of 1. We will see why is that. Now we have to choose where the hydrogen appear. In this uh, property we will have a man-made objects and natural-made objects. So we 
have to choose one of those three. And uh, I see the batteries and the wrench are made for another element, so I will choose the sun, like, like we mentioned, me and my computer. <laughs> the hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe. There is a lot of hydrogen in the sun. And then we go to the electron, the electrons of the element. This is the electrons per shells, because the electrons go around the atomic nucleus in shells. And just to remind, if I'm correct, if the element is with number one, it should have one electron, one proton, and one neutron. But we know from other stuff, for ad, from other materials, that uh, we can remove electrons or add electrons. That makes uh, anions and cations, depending on that if the electrons are more. Now, if we remove protons from the core, the element will be changed. Right? Because it will, if there are two protons, then the element become hydrogen. Uh, not hydrogen, but helium. And finally, if we remove neutrons, because the protons in the core are, are equal to the neutrons in the core, then the element should become stable. We can do this with all elements, or I don't know if we can do it all, but this is a general example or a general hint about the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons of the elements. <coughs> so, the hydrogen has one electron, and it is in the first shell, going around the core in, the, in one shell. Finally, we have to choose the crystal structure of the element. There are no hints here, so we should either know them or just guess. And I know that the hydrogen has a hexagonal crystal structure. And I will finish the quiz with an excellent mark. If I have if I create mistakes, it will draw one line from the mark. Now we should not make mistakes on the first element. But there are other elements that I will play in the following days. And this is the knowledge dosage for today. Until new meetings.